right? But high fructose corn syrup and corn syrup. Guess what? In McDonald's in the UK and other parts of the world, high fructose corn syrup is banned. They use real sugar. But here in the US, they give us the addictive form that makes us fatter, sicker, and more prone to type 2 diabetes. All right, it literally took me a couple seconds to Google the ingredients in the Big Mac sauce in the UK. And right here we have glucose fructose syrup. That is the same as high fructose corn syrup. It's just labeled differently in the UK. So not only do they use it in other countries, including the UK, but it's also not a version of sugar that makes us sicker, fatter, and more prone to type 2 diabetes either. In fact, there are multiple studies comparing intake of other similar sweeteners and showing that they exert similar metabolic effects as high fructose corn syrup. This one showed similar effects in humans comparing HFCS 55 to both sucrose and honey. Now, of course, you can be cognizant of the amount of sugars in your overall diet, sugars and added sugars, but to demonize one specific sugar over another doesn't make any sense, especially when you're talking about high fructose corn syrup versus sugar versus honey, which all have similar levels of both glucose and fructose. Whoever tells you MSG is actually not bad for you is lying. Really anybody still in 2022 continuing to perpetuate fear mongering and misinformation regarding MSG, especially when they've been told many times that this evidence actually shows otherwise, is really just doubling down on their sinophobia and doesn't really care to look at the actual evidence. So of course, a large fast food meal like this can be very calorically dense. It can contribute to excess calories in the diet, but that doesn't mean eating this every once in a while is toxic. Clearly, if he truly thought it was, he wouldn't be taking bites of all these foods. But also, he's not really giving you any information about the actual nutritional content of this food. He's picking out specific ingredients that he's afraid of and that he's told you to be afraid of and just telling you that they're bad or they're toxic with literally not giving you any evidence to back those claims. So really, what is anybody gaining from this misinformation? It's not telling you anything about the nutrition of the food. It's not telling you any helpful information about the ingredients because what he is saying about the ingredients is incorrect. Not only that, but completely shitting on food that is maybe somebody's only option for a meal for dinner for their children to give them something to fill their bellies until the next morning is just really honestly sickening. Food deserts are real. Food insecurity is real. And this could be an easy, quick meal for a hardworking parent to feed their family for dinner one night. There are real issues with the food system here in the U.S. regarding food distribution, food insecurity, and picking out specific ingredients and demonizing them does nothing but distract from those real issues. Going to a fast food restaurant that you're pretending to be above and eating the food while simultaneously telling people that it's toxic and they should avoid it is just really disgusting.